I'm getting my propane filled and my sister watched my video during Christmas and she was like, you never said if you did get scammed or not. Well, Today I'm headed to the little VW festival down the lake. I don't know what it's called, but it's basically a bunch of VWs coming together and showing off their rigs. And I've heard of this before. People camp at Descend on Ben, which is another festival. There's a lot of like Vanigans, Volkswagens at that festival. One of the guys mentioned, oh, I go down to Lake Havasu, but I've always been snowboarding and I haven't been able to see it. So today I'm gonna go down there and check it out while I'm in the area. I just got finished with work and I've been struggling to learn a new program and I've like figured some stuff out and I'm feeling good so I'm gonna head down there for a little while I don't really have any expectations for this just going I guess this is what you come to the VW bus show for because I have never seen a bus with a matching hearse. How cool is that? That's where the coffin goes. This peach bus right here, this is what I would be rolling around in. I love this color and I love that they put a pink little cooler out and a peach little rug. Definitely a vibe right here. It was like getting lost in a sea of buses and a lot of people were selling antiques there which was pretty cool and I didn't expect it but it was kind of a mix of a car show and a camp out. People were just having fun, having some drinks, socializing. All right, I'm leaving and I'm getting pretty cold. The sun's setting. It's really cool to see all the rigs and it's it wasn't anybody living in them full time I learned about a new market so apparently people love their vintage lanterns and no idea that the Coleman lanterns were so much this guy told me they were worth $400 for his Coleman lantern and I saw this guy selling them for like 85 it's like whoa Camping stuff is so valuable, but I didn't realize like vintage camping stuff like nostalgia is real As somebody was asking about my camera, and I was like, yeah, I do YouTube. <laughs> I felt kind of embarrassed about it I don't know why I'm getting my propane filled and my sister watched my video during Christmas and she was like, you never said if you did get scammed or not. Well, the person didn't reset the meter when they were filling up my propane. Right now I'm at a different propane shop and I'm going to watch him reset the meter to zero before he gets started so I don't get charged for the people in front of me's and mine. So I ended up getting money back. They. I came back the next day and they refunded me for the gallons that um, wouldn't come into my tank, which I was I was thankful that I advocated for myself and went back and said something because I forget how much I got back. I think it was like 40 bucks, which is significant. So this time I'm watching this guy. <laughs> I've got to share this propane company with you because I'm editing this video right now and he not only he took my tanks out he put them back in and showed me how to do it easier because it's such a tight fit in there and I always have problems with it and apparently I've always been putting them in wrong and nobody's known nobody has figured out how to put them in easily and he just knew this guy was like professional propane guy it was awesome and I also bought a small reusable propane tank let's see how much he charged me their their propane was 342 a gallon at and I got ten and a half gallons for $35.91 which is way better than the 90 something I paid a couple weeks ago. Now you're filled in with the propane. So I found an awesome company. I got refunded from my 
overcharged propane and right now I'm at an event in the desert and I am really enjoying having mild weather this summer. I know that in the mountains, Central Oregon's getting some crazy storms right now and I have been getting a tan and it has been amazing. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, and if you saw my nails in the last one, they were in a couple clips ago, they were so bad. So just ignore it. I was like halfway getting my nail polish off and I kind of left it on there. And it's not easy always being presentable on camera, okay? All right. Bye, guys.